Okay, so I was asked by Eileen to Elaine, sorry, Elaine Briggs, to give her a tutorial on how to make these. Unfortunately, my camera's playing up. So it'll only don't know why I'm getting somebody to look at it. It'll only photo in pink. Not my favourite colour anyway, but anyway, um, it was to make these. Um, and this one, although you can't see it in the other pictures, it's a uh, shaker one look, with the snow at the bottom and you've got the trees and the... And she wanted to know how to do it. Well, obviously I can't do it on camera, but I can show you the steps. You cut a scalloped card uh, or a round that will fit. I get these in... Um, Wilkinson's or you can get them in uh, the works or most places they're coming up packs of four or you get two um, four of these so it makes one ball but I have done some when my camera's finished I'll um, show you those but I know Elaine wanted to get this but I've done some four ones as well that are really pretty and um, anyway this one is you um, you cut your scallop card, Elaine, that, so that when that goes on, you've got the edges out. Sorry, I'm trying to... You've got the edges, you know, round, so you've got... Your... You then cut a piece of white card and you um, distress it using a, a circle to get your moon shape and everything. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's inside the ball, but you don't... It's just an effect. Now... On my others, I've put like little tiny bits of glitter as snow. Anyway, you cut out, I don't know whether you've got these dies. Um, if you haven't got this one. This, oh dear. This one. That I got from AliExpress. And this one I also got Aliexpress and this one here which makes absolutely really pretty um, to put inside them they, they're cut all together but they come out separately like like that and they're nice to put in and also um, the boots the um, skating boots but I'll show you them at another time anyway as for this one you do that you and put some glitter on your mountains it doesn't have to be precise you can then you put that one on and then this one curve it up and stick a bit of silicone so that it stands out and you can if you want put a bit of glitter on there although I haven't but you can and then what you do this is one I've done ready <laughs> that's one I did with Father Christmas and just the house cut out to and put some of that snow on the bottom and I put some yellow paper behind the church well it's the church actually and cut a couple of the trees off the bits I put a little bit of glitter on his Santa and a little bit on the noses of the and then you stick that to that making sure you're quite in the centre that to that this is a terrible tutorial Elaine I will do it again but I'm just sitting here holding this stupid phone I might even just email you and send it direct to you and then you place your bauble over making sure you've got your bit your string at the top and you stick it down now I stick mine down I put I use this and I just I use it um, art yeah art glitter glue I use that all the time actually I know it's I 
think I got three for about 15 quid on um, Amazon but it goes really it sticks really well I mean I'm also one for Alo Elaine's tacky gel and tacky glue but I found this is um, more secure so you just put a bead of that around your dome and then hold it on and it holds it perfectly like these um, they're not going anywhere you know and I also put some stickles around the top coming down on that one now I don't know whether you've seen those little crochet boots little crochet boots little die of a little tiny baby's boot um i did a pair of those and put them in a, a big bauble and put baby's first christmas on it with his name in it so it it looks nice and they do look nice when they're done they look a bit bitty when you're making them but i mean that one look at that one it's going to look really pretty when it's all in you know so um i hope it's helped and i will do a decent tutorial for you but at the moment <laughs> i haven't got a decent camera to do a decent tutorial with um i'm wondering whether i've got to go out and buy another one i'm also having my kitchen refitted and it's driving me nuts um anyway i hope that's helped elaine that gives you some idea of what to do and I apologise for the quality of the video. Thank you, hon.